Alright guys, welcome to the third vlog of my 2024 Japan trip. So today we're going to be going to the largest luxury shopping district in Tokyo, Japan, also known as Ginza. And I'm super excited to show you guys, but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far, even though there's only been three or two so far that you guys have seen. Uh, the first vlog, I edited it myself. The second one, actually this morning, I was editing the vlog, just chopping it up, cutting it up, and then I sent it over to my editor. So shout out to Rafo for helping me edit these vlogs because I'm trying to enjoy the time here as well, you know? But um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Uh, anyways, before we head on over to the largest shopping district, luxury shopping district, we are going to be trying Japanese fluffy pancakes for the very first time. We're going to a spot called a happy pancake. We are currently on a mission to get Fusion some money because he's running out. He's running out of money, guys. Hopefully, this machine allows him to, to get something because we're going shopping today, Eris. So hopefully, he has something. This is the IC chip cannot be red. No, it's not working. We have made it into the city. Now we gotta look for the pancake place. I forgot to mention, if you come here on the weekend, they close the entire road for you. We're almost there and you can start to see like bigger buildings in this area. And this is where all the luxury shops are. You're gonna like it because that's where the biggest Uniqlo is. This right here is one of the biggest malls in Ginza, I believe. We're gonna be going there after we eat some pancakes. I can't wait to try. Japanese fluffy pancakes. I thought there was gonna be like a crazy line, but apparently there's not too many people. Even though it is a Saturday, it is a weekend right now. A happy pancake. We just got a reservation at a happy pancake. It's gonna be a four hour wait. You guys ready to wait four hours for some pancakes? It'll be okay. safe in the area, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everywhere you look on this road, you'll find a designer store. There's Gucci over there. There's Another one over here. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, maybe later today, that's when they'll close off the road. Cause right now we just see cars just going everywhere you look. It's just shopping centers left and right. I think it's because it's only been a few days, but like soon I'm gonna start getting sick of these shopping malls. And Fusion, hopefully he's able to get money here at this place. A little bro got his money. <laughs> he was broke for the last two days. But hey, now you have the last two weeks to, to enjoy without, you know, like living off of pennies. <laughs> so there's one fruit store that I really wanted to check out when I came last year, but didn't have the chance to. So now we're gonna go there. Uh, they have like different types of desserts too. Guys, that was the best fruit dessert I've had ever. It was definitely worth the one year wait. Um, but our reservation has been ready for a little bit, so hopefully they don't kick us out for taking too long. I'm really, really hoping that. Oh, I think ours got canceled maybe? Hold on. Oh, canceled, hold on, hold on. I took a picture of it, so hopefully. God, bro. Here we go again, another wait list. But for the time being, we're just gonna head over to the mall and see what's up there. This mall is huge apparently, so let's go to, oh wait, I can already see it. I saw pictures of this mall and it looks crazy on the inside. Look at this, this place is crazy. Whoa, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm gonna have to do some shopping today. Biker? It's like a biker shirt. Huh. Their shoulder bag looks pretty nice. It's like a laptop bag. Wait, this is like a laptop bag. Look, that's yeah. a laptop compartment to it. 
It's kind of nice. And it's very compact too. I thought yeah. that bag was small. This bag is giant. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Hey, I'm gonna be a New Yorker. Fusion says whenever I wear like a long coat like this, he says I look like a New Yorker. Yeah, that's what they be wearing. <laughs> Feels really good. But I wonder how much it is. Oh, right, let's see. Wait, wait, this thing is $400. Wow. Thankfully, we made it in time. We literally ran to make it here. <laughs> well, here we are. We got our pancakes. All right, you go ahead and choose yours first. All right, I'm going to get milk tea and probably just the original happy pancake. Like, this is probably their signature, you know? Yeah, this is gonna try this. got the pancake, take a look at that. We got ice cream on top, it's so fluffy. Dude, it's so fluffy, look at that. Let's try it. It tastes like something I've had when I was a kid. It's like very eggy. You don't like egg? I mean, I don't mind. It's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just I've, I've, I've tasted something like this before, so it's very familiar, you know? Now I remember what this tastes like. Or it tastes like the um, the cake that my mom used to make, like an egg egg cake. Mm. Remember, guys, we waited four hours for this. Look at this. The entire road, we get the entire thing just to us. I'm going to be honest, the pancakes weren't the best thing I've ever tried, but I'm really glad we had the opportunity to. I've never seen a Uniqlo coffee before. They also have a Uniqlo flower outside this store too. Oh, how much I missed you, Muji. Yo, we're, we're definitely buying stuff here at Mojit Muji. Like, I, I just know you're gonna buy some stuff here. So last year, I discovered Muji here in Japan. And this time, we're going to, I think, one of the bigger Muji stores. This is crazy. Oh, the cardigan? Already? No, no, no I, I'm gonna try them on, fitting room. You said I would definitely buy some? No, no, I said he'll get oh, some. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, <laughs> no I, I came over and he's he's at the cardigan section. <laughs> Tell me if you like it though. It feels nice. We can it's fitting really room. Thin, though. I kind of yeah. want some warm skin. Too. Yeah. Right. yeah. Get, wait, there's there's more. Wait, Eris. There's one more ones right here. I know. Eris, show them what you have in your hand. Another cardigan. What did I say? I said you were definitely gonna get something. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. All right, first bag of clothes secured. Now I have more things to wear on this trip. Here it is, the biggest Uniqlo in the world. Look at that. Seems like they have Uniqlo coffee here too, but where's the Uniqlo flowers? All right, so we're in a building called Dover Street Market, and basically they have like so many different streetwear brands and stuff. And my friends, they were making fun of me for wearing something like this, denim tears. <laughs> Those are scrunchies. Dude, they're not scrunchies or flowers. I don't know what they are. They're called denim tears, man. Ooh, look at this Japan exclusive bape. You know, I would get this if I still wore bape, but I don't wear bape anymore. Ooh, nice, black on black. Yeah, it is, it is. There's uh, these are just uh, neck ones, and then this is the hoodies. Yeah, these are the shoes I have. Wait, Fusion, these are shoes. You got this one? Yeah, well, I mean, similar. I have the black one, remember? All right, guys, I just got back to the Airbnb, and let me just say, I am absolutely cooked right now. My legs barely work. I'm super tired. It is currently 424. There's still more things to do today, but man, I just want to take a nap. <sighs> and also, I feel like I haven't eaten real food today. I had 
the fruit parfait with like ice cream and stuff, which was just straight up sugar. And also after that, we had the fluffy pancakes, which was super sweet. So thankfully tonight we're gonna be getting some hot pot. It's like, it's super cool. I'll just show you guys when I go there. Sometimes I just like to explain everything, but I feel like that takes the, that takes the fun out of the vlogs. You know, you guys already know what we're gonna be doing next, but at least you guys will know that we're getting dinner after this. I feel like most of the vlogs that I do when I go on like trips and you know uh, whenever I travel it's just food 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 but it's like so important you know we need food to live and you know when, when you're um, going to a different country you want to explore different cuisines right so hopefully you guys do understand and, and plus at the end of the day I'm vlogging just for myself anyways or like I, I want you guys to see it but I also like to you know uh, look back at the memory i'm gonna put you guys somewhere else so it actually looks a little better is it better here hold on i had no idea i had a balcony out here how do i even oh let's go it's kind of cold outside and also i don't want to be like yelling i don't know if this is a good idea or not i don't know this is the best you guys are gonna get and i can't be too loud now because the window is open but all right you know what i, j I just closed the door because i feel like i'm gonna be a little too loud but this is everything I got from shopping today. I don't know, I didn't wanna to waste too much money, guys. So I just got two pieces from Muji. Uh, I told you guys, it's kind of like an Ikea and also like a Uniqlo in Japan. I don't know if that makes sense. It's basically a clothing store and a department store. You can like get furniture, you can get all sorts of different things like pens, papers, like groceries as well. It's kind of weird how it has everything, but uh, let me show you guys everything I got. So I got this uh, raincoat jacket. I'll put it on for you guys in just a second, but I got this raincoat jacket because I, I don't think I brought anything that had a hood other than my hoodie and it's gonna be raining. And you know, this actually has rain protective material. So got this jacket, really nice. And then I also got this like workwear type jacket with a collar. And I got this because I don't own any anything like this. So let me let me put it on for you guys so you guys can see like what it looks like on me. I'm so glad I got this tripod because I can just go like so this is what the workwear jacket looks like. I, I love how it fits. If you guys take a look around, there you go. I think it fits really nice, so decided to get this. Um, I wanted to go for a smaller size, but when you zipped it up, the other one was like way too tight. So you guys let me know what you guys think of this jacket. And also this jacket was like $40. Um, so I think that's a pretty good deal. But yeah, this is the jacket right here. Feels really good on body. There was also a gray one that I tried on. I tried on a gray small and medium, and the gray did look good, but I think black fits with a lot more outfits. So, so anyways, let's move on to the rain jacket. So this is what the rain jacket looks like. Unzipped, uh, like it, it's basically any other windbreaker. Uh, it's, it's a little thin though, but I'm sure I can like layer it with something. But I like how it fits. I should have gone for a large, maybe. I mean, it fits nicely, so I'm not too mad about it. It's gonna be good in the rain. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I got uh, in Japan today. It's only day three, so I don't wanna like go crazy with the shopping. We did go to Dover Street Market, which is like a like street fashion slash just higher end fashion store with a bunch of different designers. And I will say like, I did like what I saw, but at the same time, I didn't like the prices that I saw. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna rest up for a little bit. I'm super tired. And also I feel like I haven't been drinking a lot of water. So I got this big, big bottle of water from 7-Eleven. Been trying to take this big boy down, but at the same time, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse. You know, first of all, I'm getting hydrated. At the same time, wherever I go, I need to go to the bathroom, which is very, very bad. I have to keep looking for a bathroom. And also I've been feeling like kind of under the weather a little bit and I don't want to get sick at the beginning of my trip. So got this at 7-Eleven. They have like a medicine aisle. I don't know when I'm gonna be making my 7-Eleven video, but don't know which video is coming out first, but basically they have a little medicine aisle and you can get like different um, like medicine, like you can get like little potions and stuff. And I guess this is a vitamin C lemon drink. So I'm gonna try it out, see if it's good. Let me first smell it. it smells carb, uh, like it looks carbonated. It's basically lemon soda. Yeah, it's carbonated. Hopefully this prevents me from getting a cold or something. Anyways, I'm gonna charge up this camera so I can continue filming tonight and also this phone. And yeah, there's also a bunch of different snacks I wanna try. So you guys will see a separate video on that very soon. All right guys, so earlier I told you 
that we haven't eaten like any real food, right? <laughs> so Fusion and Eris, they decided to order Pizza Hut in Japan and uh, they have like interesting flavors. So Fusion, what, what's the interesting flavor that you got? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we got personal size pizza. Uh, what, what do we have here, Eris? It's like a Korean bulgogi. Ooh, okay, okay, let's see it. Hold up, I need to record it too. Okay, and then what's this? Chicken. Oh, your chicken. While in Japan, if you get like a personal meal, check Ooh. this out again. She. You get like a small personal pizza that you can literally finish. Then they give you some sides, fries, and usually chicken. Wait, so, so you got fries and what? Chicken nugget? Yeah. How come you didn't get that, Fusion? Not. What, the fries spot? Yeah. I got a little custard thing. Oh, let's see it. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, it's like dessert. Uh, I think apple pie. Oh, okay, Fusion okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, they gave me like only two chicken nuggets though. They're really like soft. They're not like crispy. Let's try the chicken. Though. Let's try the chicken. You want to try it? No, I'm good. I had some chicken for my 7-Eleven. Would it be bad better. if I said I prefer 7-Eleven chicken over this? I don't blame you. I just had some 7-Eleven chicken. This would be so good with rice. All right, bulgogi burger. Oh, not burger. <laughs> uh, yeah, pizza <laughs> from Pizza Hut. Mm. It's like very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's what you would expect if you've ever tried like Korean marinated beef, I think. Bro, were you hungry? This man's starving. You were starving. You should have said something. I mean, he I'm won't starving. be able to eat hot pot tonight, so. He's no. hungry. Yeah, so it's cheese and like uh, Japanese mayo. Oh, that's what that's that what, is. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. I was like, what is this yeah, yellow stuff? You got onions and bulgogi. All right, guys, so we are now headed to Shibuya Crossing to obviously look at the crossing. And then after that, we're going to the hot pot place. But guys, super, super close to our Airbnb is the sky tree um and i think another day we're gonna be going up there because it's fusion's first time in tokyo so he hasn't seen anything um here in japan so we're, we might show him around as well also guys i swapped over to my other camera that i usually use to vlog so you guys let me know how the quality is compared to um the tiny camera that i used before you know i might, I might regret just wearing this jacket because it's already freezing yeah It's like a horror movie, huh? It's like a horror game. Shut up. Nah, 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 nah. Sit right here, sit right here. Yes, you got my best friend right here. <laughs> you trying to make me look bad. Oh, terrible people. We know your tactics now. You know his tactics, huh? Bro, yeah. what were you doing? I have to sit next to this guy. What? <laughs> you have to sit next to me no matter what. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep. Good thing this is the last stop. This is the last stop and it goes all the way back to Shibuya. Oh yeah, little bird. I got you, I got you. Oh, let's take some pictures. Guys, keep in mind, today is a Saturday and I'm pretty sure like everyone's off work and school. There's gonna be a lot of fashion demons out here. I keep telling them this, but I'm so glad I'm back. We gotta get that. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Oh, Pokemon Center. We made it to the Pokemon Center. Eris, you gonna get your coin pouch? Uh, it's in here, it's in here. I mean, of course they have some in there too, but. No, we gotta get some All right, sounds good. I might get something too. We got the iconic Mewtwo right here. All right, so how many of us wants to picture the front of Mewtwo, next to Mewtwo? Last year, I got a coin pouch from here. Let's see what I end up leaving with. We got this little one too. Oh, might be too small, but it's nah, cool though. I kind of want something uh, practical. Okay, I don't want to be basic and just get Pikachu though. You know, balls. <laughs> the, the OG starters. Wait, Yo, Eris should be getting this. Oh my god. She's just trying to say that uh, Eris is Snorlax. Weren't you like falling asleep in the tree? Were you falling asleep, Fusion? I closed my eyes for one second. Oh, they have mystery boxes. But I just don't want to like spend money just to spend money, you know? Oh, I kind of like this one. It's a little devious. A little devious boy. 
How much is it? Eight dollars. Eight dollars is kind of crazy for for this. I could just get something like this. It's so much cheaper too. Why is this cheaper? Oh, ho, ho, we got Charizard. All right, I'm gonna get this one instead. And we got a Mew one. Oh yeah. I think it's just lower quality, I guess. This is made out of bamboo, maybe. Nah, screw it. I'm already here. I might as well get this one and this one right here. Paris is just reading manga right now. I'm sorry, what did you call me? I said you're reading manga right now. Oh, I thought you called me a weep for a second. <laughs> what? Okay. Dang, he's right. hearing things. He hears the truth. <laughs> oh, yo. They got Prince of Tennis out here. I grew up reading Prince of Tennis. Yo, this is actually fire. Paris, found something. Yo! The goat himself. Which one should I get? What is this? It's a stand, right? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand. Yo! This has been one of my favorite manga recently. That guy right there, he's like an ex-assassin, but like he's retired now. He used to be like number one in the world, but he's like retired now. You know, I'm really hoping this walk is worth it. And it's not like, you know, we show up to the restaurant and all of a sudden it's like, oh, we have a three hour wait list. But this is kind of far from the main area. So I'm hoping, you know, I don't know, guys, the further we go, the more sketchy it's starting to look. But I think we're really close, we're like right there. Oh, uh, yeah. I believe this is it. Yes. We got bathing bears. Let's head on in. We almost didn't get a table, but I think we got one now. Alright guys, we're trying to figure this out. Apparently this little bear guy, he's gonna melt once we turn it on. Oh, I think I turned it on. Well, let me see the instructions. Yo, can I see the instructions? Alright, so please keep the heat level between low and medium uh, for... Okay, low and medium. Once Kumachan falls down, put the broth enhancer next to the meat. Oh, so after that we put this into the broth and then add meat and vegetables once it's cooked it's ready to eat oh let's go all right <laughs> guys my bear is already falling over no 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 why'd you have to fall over poor little bear he fell over he's gonna start melting now <laughs> He's over here eating the leaves. You should try the broth though. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Yet another great day here in Tokyo, Japan. I forgot to mention, but basically for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be here in Tokyo. But maybe one of the days I might go down to Osaka or something like that and check out other places because I'm already here and I might as well take advantage of being here already. <laughs> but before I end off the vlog, I wanted to try these interesting looking chocolates. They look like wafers, but I don't know what it is. It's like strawberry chocolate. I don't know, I, I just thought the packaging was really cool and I saw it, I saw it at 7-Eleven this morning. So I'm gonna open it up. Whoa, what the yo guys, look at this. Look at how it looks. It's like some sort of strawberry wafer chocolate. I don't know if the entire thing is all chocolate or not, but the shape is definitely interesting. Look at this. You get like a burst of uh, strawberry for like a quick second, and then you, you just smell dark chocolate after that. But you can definitely smell the strawberry, so I'm gonna try it out. I'm so tired, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog right after this, but. It crumbles after you bite into it because of the way it's like made, the makeup of the chocolate. Honestly, it reminds me of a 3D printing. Like 3D printed things, they usually have this like pattern to it. Some bites, you get more of the dark chocolate. Some bites, you get more of the strawberry flavor. And I also think there's some white chocolate in there too. And in one box, you get so many of them. I'm gonna get addicted to these guys. I should be careful. I'm gonna make a snack video sometime this, this week or next week, sometime while I'm here on this trip. But I have plenty of video ideas. Um, right now, I'm just taking you guys through the 
you know, the daily life. And I hope you guys have been following along. But anyways, super exhausted. I'm ready to sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace.